Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. We're starting this vlog off on a Tuesday. I feel like I just do so much admin work on Mondays that sometimes it's just not worth it to vlog. I did my own gel nails last night and I'm really proud of them. Fail focus. I was also watching the Georgia game, so congrats to all the dogs in my life, including my boyfriend. I know he's like so, so stoked about it. He called me last night and he was like, hey, can you go to like a gas station and get a newspaper in the morning? And I was like, what? And apparently they print out like, I guess, you know, who won. And so he wants it to like frame it. They'll probably be like all sold out in Georgia because everyone wants them. I'm about to head out for a consultation. If you guys saw my last vlog, hopefully I posted it. That's what I was supposed to be doing this morning, but I don't even know if I got enough footage. Um, but you would know that I am getting surgery. Well, actually, I don't even know if that's like really what it's called because it's just like stitching up my ear piercings. Um, because this hole specifically is just so like long and my earrings look so wonky and I know a lot of people probably don't think it's like that big of a deal but it is an insecurity of mine so I'm gonna see how much it costs and go from there and since I'm paying for this consultation I'm going to see if they're able to do like injections in my nose to make it not curved because in the last video I told you guys this but my nose like from one specific angle is so curved and I'm just I just don't understand how that can even be because like every other angle it's like fine but I don't want to get a whole nose job for that because that just would not be ideal so I want to see if they can do that and I think the appointment's like in bee caves so we got to get going Just pulled up into my apartment and I wanted to give you guys an overview of the consultation. So starting off with my earlobes, um, I don't know if I'm going to do both. I'm still really torn because this one is like not as bad as this one because it's like really bad. And I'll put like the um, picture right here of this earlobe. It's like so stretched out and long, um, but I also want them to be even. And like obviously she's gonna try to make it as even as possible because they can re-pierce at this place um, for like $50. So that's kind of nice that they offer that service, but um, I don't know if I should do both or not. So I definitely want to do the surgery. Then I asked about the nose situation. She said that it is a movement when I don't smile, when it's just like my natural face. It is such a good nose. Like she was like, you literally have what so many people want like the straightness and everything but i just like don't like the curve but she said it was a movement and no surgery or injections can fix like how your nose like kind of moves when you smile so it was honestly good to hear that because it's been an insecurity of mine for a while and i didn't like want to go into a nose doctor because i feel like if they told me like oh yeah you need a nose job i'd be like okay sign me up like you know in tears like but I don't feel like I need a nose job. I'm just like easily sold on things, especially if I go to a specialist and they're like, yep, I see what you're talking about. Fix this and this and this. And then I'll just like feel even more insecure. I think that's why I like kind of held off like going somewhere and figuring out what the issue is. But I'm glad I heard that because it's just like kind of like, okay, you can't do anything about it. Live with it enjoy your nose it's not a bad nose and i'm very grateful for my good nose so anyways i am going to go through with the earlobe surgery though and i'm not really sure exactly when but i am starving it is noon and i had like a little protein muffin which i need to buy more of because those are just like such good on the go snacks um and i'm trying to not go to the grocery store for a while though because i have like leftover just like random things I bought at Central Market like last week or whenever I got home from Georgia but I didn't buy like staples like bread and stuff and I was gonna go back to H-E-B but then I was thinking Snolly do not go back to H-E-B because once I step foot in a grocery store I buy everything in sight like it is so bad I have no willpower and then you know fruits go bad vegetables go bad so I really just need to clean out my fridge before I go back to the grocery store even though I didn't really get everything I wanted but that's okay. I made chicken last night with um, spinach, tomatoes, and quinoa. And to be honest, guys, I think the quinoa was definitely expired. But I didn't really want to look. You know? Like, I'm not sick today, so it's fine. And, you know, it's like a dry good. So, I was like, it's okay. We'll just, we'll just see how it goes. And I'm fine.
Good morning, happy Wednesday. Yesterday I ended the vlog kind of earlier in the day. Um, I was just having a little off day. You know, we all have them, totally fine. Um, but I decided to take the time at night to like plan out a bunch of stuff because I feel like obviously I just feel way more prepared for just life in general if my days are like planned out to a T. Um, so I'm feeling more motivated today, which feels good. And I think I talked about it in my New Year's resolutions video, um, but I'm trying to wake up at 7.30 every single morning. And then I also try not to go on my phone until I get out of my house for the gym. That just, you know, speeds up the entire process. I'm not like on the toilet scrolling on TikTok for like 30 minutes and wasting time in the morning. I've been doing it for about a week now. And yesterday I was thinking, oh my God, spring forward is coming up. So I'm gonna like lose an hour of sleep. I'm gonna have to redo like my whole morning routine right when I'm like in the groove of it, which sucks. But today I decided to use my walking pad because I have a vlog to edit. I really need to get back into YouTube, be more consistent on here. My goal for this month is to like find my passion again in YouTube. I love making vlogs because I have all these memories to look back on for myself, you know, when I grow up or my kids want to see them, they can. And it's so cool to have it like in a video format instead of just like photos or a photo book because it really does like tell so much more and I feel like I have a really bad memory, so the fact that I have my four years of college on video is wild and so, so special to me. But especially with the rise of TikTok and seeing that you can like make a video within, you know, three minutes to like 30 minutes, you know, it really just ranges depending on like what video you're making. But honestly, the ones that I make in like two seconds do the best. Like they are the ones that go viral, which, you know, love that for me. But with YouTube, it's so tedious to edit because I film like so much footage so this footage is like almost two hours long that I have to edit and I think this one's just a couple days or maybe it's a week vlog but I also need to get better about maybe editing every day like a little by little so it's not just like this one big two hour vlog that I have to edit in one sitting and I feel like my YouTube videos aren't doing great either which doesn't help the fact that it takes so long to edit you know and I've definitely had like thoughts about, you know, maybe I don't really need to like post like that often. I'll just like, you know, do it on TikTok or Instagram and be more active on those platforms. But then I was thinking like, then it won't give me a reason to like compile my memories like I do now. And I don't want to lose that. Also, my word of the year is habitual. I feel like I rely on motivation a little too much and I just want to be more disciplined. So, you know, this is one of them. Like I just need to like have a posting day so if you guys have any specific days you like to watch YouTube let me know and I can kind of get that going also I have like a bunch of scars on my face because I can't stop picking my face <laughs> so we're just gonna ignore that yesterday when I did this walking pad I walked like 8,600 steps in an hour and 45 minutes and the time honestly went so fast like I said I was on the phone with PayPal for an hour um, but other than that, like I just did some computer work. For this walking pad, I actually don't have a standing desk, so I use these like acrylic risers and everything is going to be linked on my Amazon storefront under For the Office. A lot of vendors on Amazon actually reached out to send me a standing desk, but I just could not part ways with this beautiful desk that I got on Wayfair. and. I also don't have like a storage unit or anywhere else to put it here. So until we buy a house and I can have like two office setups, we'll be keeping this desk. And then also like the walking pad, I feel like I get a lot of questions on how loud it is. And I mean, you have been hearing it in the background this whole time, but I'll like keep quiet for a second. It's not like too bad, especially when you're working. I feel like it's almost like a constant beat that makes you feel a little bit more focused. And when I am walking at my desk, I feel like my productivity increases times like a thousand. My skin is acting up right now and I know it's because I'm trying out different products. I just feel like I have so much skincare from PR and I don't want it to go to waste, but I want to try out the products because you know, brands give products in PR in hopes that they'll like be featured. So I want to try them for myself to see if I'll like them, but I just end up like breaking out a little bit. Like I said, I think earlier this morning, 
I picked out my face and so I have a scar right here, I have a scar right here, and now this is like a little bug bite pimple. I get them and it's so weird. Anyways, I just made a smoothie. I did banana, passion fruit, blueberries, milk, and then some protein powder. And I love adding like frozen passion fruit. This is the brand that I get. I think you can find it at Whole Foods. I'm pretty sure I've seen it at Target once and it makes it a little bit sour and it just is a good addition. I don't think I updated you guys about my stats from this morning on the walking pad. I was shook it. Um, I walked 13,000 steps because I told myself I couldn't get off the walking pad until I finished my vlog and it took me kind of a long time to edit that one because like I said, it was like two hours of footage. So I'm very happy that I got you know, a good workout in this morning. I showered and today is probably going to be a day I claw clip this hair or like put it in a cute little slicked back bun. Hair and makeup is done and I tried the Mary Phillips technique. If you guys haven't heard about it, it's like where you put your contour and your highlighter on first and then you kind of like brush your foundation over it. So you're not putting as much foundation as you usually would. And I used a lighter foundation today. I used like a Tula like a skin tint almost I think. Right now I'm going to start on editing a gallery and I wanted to show you guys a quick little hack that I learned from my other photographer friend um, Brie. She's simply Brie on Instagram I believe but she posted this on TikTok a while back and it saved my life. So I might be only talking to a couple of people but I just hope I can like save someone some time because seriously this is just like been a game changer okay so if you're a photographer and you have a pixie set subscription this is the website i use to upload the gallery after a photo session and then your client can actually go in and like heart all of the ones that they want you to edit for them and then the best part about this is let me show you guys first you want to click on your gallery that you need to edit then you click on this little icon over here Hopefully everything's like focusing. Then you do favorite activity. And then what I would do is like click on the favorites. And I used to manually find each one of these pictures in Lightroom by the image number. This is what I do now to save me so much time. All you have to do is go back to the favorite activity. Go to actions. Under actions, you'll see three dots. Click on that. And then you want to hit Lightroom copy list. It has all the image numbers over here. Press copy. We're going to open up Lightroom. We need to make sure we're in all photographs. And then up top, you're just going to click text. We're going to make sure this one is at just contains. Then we'll paste those image numbers in there and they will all be selected. Oops. Okay. Make sure you turn your filters off. And then you gotta do it again. So text, contains, and paste. Okay, now they will be down here. And what I usually like to do is flag them. So that is just P, and that is the shortcut to flag them. And now I can edit. To think that I literally would find each one of the image numbers like manually before this, I don't even know. It's so important like to know the shortcuts, especially when you're using these applications, like even Final Cut Pro, there are so many shortcuts that you can learn to be so much faster at editing. And, you know, especially if you do this weekly, it's imperative that you find out the shortcuts. and I'm about to get ready for a walk. I am trying to hang out with people more because I am really just getting too comfortable with being in my home and just like not leaving. Like, yes, I get really, really sad and lonely, but I also don't want to leave my house. And the other day when I had a shoe, I was like getting really anxious like to leave. 
I was like, this has never happened before. Like, what is wrong with me? This is not who I am. Like, I love going out. I love exploring places. The issue with going out is that I'm probably eating or spending money and I'm trying to save money and eat at home more and just like eat healthier. So I think that's why I'm trying to stay home more so I don't really have like that many temptations outside. But I just texted a lot of my content creator friends because I haven't seen them since like probably November. And I wanted to like get together with like all of them separately and just like, you know, make coffee dates and have an excuse for me to get out of the house. So I felt really good to just reach out to them and I'm so excited to like catch up with all of them. I would definitely see a lot of coffee dates in the next like two weeks um, on the vlogs, which is exciting and fun because I do want to start going to like newer coffee shops. I swear you guys like in Austin, there's something new every single day, like whether it's a new restaurant or a new store. It's kind of crazy, especially because I live in East Austin and you just drive down like Saltillo and you're like, that was literally not there yesterday. What the heck? <laughs> the city is booming and I cannot wait for South by Southwest, which is this March, but I'm stupid and literally planned a trip during that and I'm so, so mad because I feel like that is a really great time for opportunities for me just meeting people or even like brand deals and I'm hoping to like get invited to even more events this year. Fortunately and unfortunately, I planned my college reunion trip that week because um, one of my friends is still in grad school and that was her spring break and I didn't even like look to see that it was South by Southwest but I would have still gone even if I actually knew but it just sucks because then I won't be able to go to like all of the things. So let's just hope that the bigger events for South by Southwest is like weekend one and like the first half, which I feel like it is. It's usually two weekends and like a full week, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna change into a workout outfit. I just pulled it from my closet. I did wanna show you guys these jeans really quick because these are from H&M, so freaking affordable and they fit so well. I wanna say they're the 90s jeans. It definitely has a longer name than that, but I just love the way they fit. They're perfect on the waist and then they kind of like balloon out near the hips. So it gives me even more curves. Look how freaking good this Amazon dupe is for the Lululemon jacket. I have the real one in black, but I have like the ribbed one, but it has like all of the same little details like this back flap thing and it just snatches me and it has the thumb holes. Also, it's probably half the price. I will link it for you guys as always. This is the fit for walking. I'll probably take this jacket off knowing that it's 80 degrees outside, but just got my splits 59 flared leggings on. I'm wearing my Reeboks because I didn't really feel like getting out any other. <laughs> my shoes are really dirty. And then I have a Skims tank under here. Made myself a snack. This is the only thing I found that I didn't really have to like prepare. I just like slapped on some peanut butter on this um, caramel rice cake. It's pretty good. I just got a second one. And I'm about to head out. My friend said she was going to be running a little bit late. So that's why I'm chilling now. I felt like I was in a rush. But when she texted out, I was like, yes. <laughs> Hey y'all, it is Thursday, one more day till Friday, and I'm so excited for tomorrow because I'm heading out to Dallas for a little girls trip, and we're staying just until Sunday. I know Monday a lot of people have it off also. Please don't mind my makeup on my sleeve. We're just gonna act like I didn't do that this morning. <laughs> um, but I'm very excited for our trip. We're going to Carbone for dinner on Friday. Why am I like the most excited to just like eat at Carbone? Um, Probably because I've had like the same chicken and quinoa for the past, I don't even know, like five days it feels like, which is like unheard of for me. I love to go out, I love to try new restaurants, but I made chicken one night and it felt like it was never ending and I just had to finish it. So that will make Carboni even more exciting because I just have not 
like eaten out in a while. Um, but I did my makeup and I again did the Mary Phillips makeup technique. And I'm currently actually editing a little TikTok and possibly going to post it on my Instagram stories. I haven't really decided. I just feel like sometimes I create content for TikTok and then it just stays on TikTok and I'm like, I feel like I could be reposting this on other social media platforms because I don't know if y'all follow me on like all of them, but I'm guessing most people don't follow me on all of them. So then it's like, I can actually use the content for more platforms. But it is a game changing makeup technique. I also have my hair in a slick back bun because I want to have fresh hair for tomorrow. I think I'm gonna like get up early, work out, and then like possibly shower and like do my whole hair routine. Since we are heading out of town, I feel like we have a lot to do. Just like, you know, get the apartment clean. I love coming back to a clean apartment after a trip, even though it's like, what, three days, but I still love coming home to a clean apartment. And then also I am getting all my um, packages in for my Dallas trip, like, and I also have to pack. So we're gonna be doing that today. And I have a lot of editing, like always, so. Still at my desk answering some emails, just making sure everything's like tied up before I go to Dallas, but I tried AG1 for the freaking first time, guys. I feel like I'm in an elite club for even just having this water bottle and athletic greens in my hand. I actually purchased some other greens on Amazon before my New York trip, and I wanted the athletic greens one, but it was not on Prime at the time, so I couldn't get it in time, so I just like settled for something else, and the taste is so different and 100% better in the AG1 because it doesn't really like taste like anything. You can't really taste the particles. Like, yes, I like even blended the other one and you could still kind of like taste it. Um, and the other one tastes like way earthier. This has barely a taste, but just has like a hint of sweetness. And it's really not that bad. It has like 75 what was it, vitamins, nutrients, like all of the things. And I'm very curious to see what it can do for me if I'm like consistent with it. And I'm just hoping that my energy levels increase with it because I need that right now. It is time to start packing for Dallas. I just opened up my Fashion Pass package. It came just in time, but I'm still waiting on like one piece from Revolve. So really hoping it comes. I think it's out for delivery, but in the meantime, let's try on all the stuff I got from Fashion Pass. Something to note is that you guys know I live in Austin and Dallas is like much more bougie, especially the way that people dress out when they go out and to dinner. Like seriously, even the most fancy restaurant here in Austin, they like barely have dress code. <laughs> so I wanted to like dress up while I was in Dallas cause like why not? And we're going to Carbone on Friday night I'm not sure if this is like too much though, cause I was like originally thinking of a blazer vibe, maybe like some tall boots, but then I saw this on Fashion Pass and I was like, that's really freaking cute. But then I also don't really want to outshine the birthday girl. So on Saturday we're going out out and everyone's wearing black except for the birthday girl. And I was thinking maybe I could do this with some tall black boots, but now I'm thinking maybe I should just do this for Carbone cause it's like very classy vibes. And I don't know if I should like be this classy for a night out out, you know? I also bought some thick belts on Amazon, which I'm really hoping again comes in today, um, so I could have some options. Just to add something a little bit more to this outfit. Okay, so I got this bodysuit on Revolve. I definitely thought there was gonna be lining near the boobs because why wouldn't there be? I can't remember how much it was, but it was definitely over $50. The skirt is from Fashion Pass. It's just like not giving with this bodysuit, but I feel like it could be a good daytime skirt. We have a problem. Some of the things didn't fit. And so that kind of just like messes up all the outfits I tried to plan. And the worst thing is when you actually try to like plan it all out and like, you know, you're prepared, you don't have to rush ship things and then they don't work out. Like that is not fun. I am waiting on a revolve top and I'm just really praying that works out. Um, but for now, let's just go back to the closet and see what we can find. I was trying to like pair something with a skirt. Cause like I like this skirt alone from Fashion Pass, but I just feel like it's too long to be like a going out skirt, I don't know. Or maybe I just need like a different bodysuit. But the issue is, is that I want this to be my Saturday night outfit and it's all black. And I don't even have that many black things because I like boycotted black clothes for a very long time when I was on my neutrals kick, which I still am. But now I feel like it's just so chic. I feel like ever since I went to New York, everyone was wearing black and they looked so badass. I started to incorporate black in my outfits, like these boots. I think I showed them in my last vlog, but they're so cute and they're from Amazon. I love them. This is what I want to wear this weekend in Dallas, so 
trying to find outfits that I can wear these with. Guys, the Revolve top actually just got delivered, but it's just not giving what it's supposed to give, and this was like literally my last option because I really don't have like that much black in my closet. And also, it's just like not tight enough to hold these suckers down, like any small movement, this just goes right up. And you know, we're going out, like I probably won't be sober, so it's a no for me. And now I will continue to have my mental breakdown. You guys should see my room, it's like so bad. I decided that I'm gonna go to Uptown Cheapskate, which is like a secondhand um, like thrift store, I guess. Kind of just like a player's closet, but not player's closet. And we're gonna see what we can find. I might even bring that like skirt from Fashion Pass to just like see if there's anything that can go with it. I passed by this place, let's check it out to see if they have anything. You know when you walk into somewhere and you know it's an immediate no, but then you can't just like walk in and like literally turn around and walk out. So I had to like pretend to like look through the racks, which there were like maybe three clothing racks. I'm being dramatic, but no, it was an absolute no. I'm glad I went in though because I passed this thing every single day. So now I know. I'm probably not coming back here. That was a fail, on to the next. But let's appreciate how gorgeous it is outside. All right, next stop. So we found that turtleneck black sweater with the cutout and it's from the brand Aster. I know I've seen that brand a lot on like Revolve and just like Fashion Pass. So I know it's like a cool brand and it was $12. So I really lucked out. Um, but now I'm going to make a really fast dinner because I still have to pack and I need to make sure I pack pretty light. Like I need to plan my outfits to a T and not really have that many options because we're all gonna take the same car. One girl wasn't able to come at the last minute, so we were going to split up like six people in two cars, so three and three. But now we're just like, oh, we have five people, so we could just take one car. But then now we have to all pack really light. So I'm gonna make sure to pack in like a duffel or like a really small carry-on, but I wanted to make something with this chicken. It's so funny because if you guys follow Wishbone Kitchen, she made a TikTok saying like stop meal prepping chicken and rice and eating it for like five days. That is literally what I did, just chicken quinoa, but like this chicken has lasted me a very long time, but honestly I'm not mad about it. I feel like when I have the bulk of like a meal prepped or cooked or something, I'm less likely to eat out, but I also have noticed that I haven't really been like going out and like literally leaving my house this week so definitely a lot less temptation because when i was just out i was pretty freaking hungry and i was like "Ooh, like ramen tatsuya sounds really good i could even get like fly right and i don't even really like fly right like i was literally just looking at all these restaurants and i was like that sounds so good right now but i was like you know what one last day of <laughs> eating at home you can do it I already have like the chicken prepped and like these vegetables mainly cut up. I just want to cut them down a little bit because I think I'm going to do like a fried rice tonight because I just want something a little bit more hearty and I also don't have any more quinoa so that is what we're going to do tonight. This is key to having the best fried rice. Also got to do some soy sauce. Took the heat off and we're just gonna do two eggs. Oops. I've made like fried rice similar to this in the past, but I popped off with this one. And honestly, this probably took the least amount of effort. I think it was just because I kind of went a little heavy on the um, what's called sesame oil so so good you guys like if you have just leftover chicken and veggies make fried rice and be sure to add the egg because I really like the egg in it too but now it is time to actually pack and I'm gonna go down to the package room one more time today because I think the belts for my black dress have arrived but I need to make sure I need to check 
the locker package. I think I got a notification. I also want to get the box because I need to break down all the boxes, put the trash and all the recycling outside so that they can take it before I leave. I thought the belt was going to be thicker, but we'll still try it on. I feel like it could be cute, the, the black dress I have. I also got this interesting asymmetrical belt. So we'll see which one looks the best. Got some lashes. Last time I was at Walgreens, I was trying to like look for some new lash styles. The selection sucked. One of the belts didn't fit, so we're left with this one. And honestly, I was not feeling too confident in this dress. Then I put on a pair of just like random Spanx that I found. Holy shit. <laughs> I feel like a million bucks now. I think I'm gonna wear this for Carbone. My little Amazon boots. And I'll probably wear that pea coat too that I got from Fashion Pass with it because I think it's gonna be like pretty dang cold in Dallas. Good morning, it is road trip day. Last night I made sure to get like all my outfits figured out, but I was just like so pooped that I decided to like finish packing in the morning. So that is what I did. I have my carry on suitcase and then I decided to bring like a little duffel. It's kind of not little, but I'm really hoping that we can just like squeeze it in somewhere. It's almost noon. I have to eat before we head out on the road. And the fried rice last night, I've been thinking about it ever since. So I have leftovers. I'm going to heat it up. I actually have more time than I thought I would have. And so I'm just putting some dishes away. I also wanted to give you guys an update on my press-ons. I talked about doing my press-ons and like gel in my last vlog i'm pretty sure and i got the press ons from like cvs they were like this kind of like a nail color so basically you could see the glue because i didn't know how to like put them on without having the glue make air bubbles and all that stuff so then i decided to like just put gel on top of my press ons pretty much just like gel x my nails actually look so good it's just this one's peeling off already but that was definitely my problem because when you put your thumb in there i don't think the uv like gets all over your thumb so i definitely need to do like my thumb individually next time learning from my mistakes i kind of want to buy like a whole gel x press-ons kit doing your nails is so hard honestly it takes so much time but it's so fulfilling and very therapeutic Dishes are done. The kitchen looks spotless. I cleaned up the bathroom or just like put away my stuff. I love myself when I actually take the time to clean up my apartment before leaving for a trip because like that feeling of walking into a clean apartment when you miss your home so much, like no better feeling truly. But I am actually going to bring my little mini camera to this trip because I know myself and I get kind of uncomfortable obviously carrying around this big camera that I usually film on um, when I'm like out and about, especially when I don't want to bring a big bag or don't want to look like a tourist and have the whole neck strap on. So I've been getting a lot of questions recently asking what I usually shoot on. This is the Sony a7 IV. It's the newest model. I used to have the Sony a7 III, but I'm pretty sure that one didn't have a flip out screen so it was kind of annoying to vlog with but this one is the sony a5100 i honestly don't even know if they make these anymore because now they obviously have so many more like updated versions but the lenses on this one you can't use on this camera that i'm filming with because that is a full frame camera and this is a crop sensor camera which means that if this is a 16 millimeter lens you think that's really wide but it's actually not because it crops it in, which that's why I don't really like to vlog on this because I love how wide this lens looks because I'm shooting with the Tamron 17 to 24, I believe. Okay, 17 to 28 millimeters. So it can zoom. If you ever hear someone say something about a prime lens, it probably means that it has more of a blurry background and that the aperture is lower so like that 2.8 or below is going to give you that really blurry background so this one has a 2.8 that's why it's not like super blurry but whenever i vlog with my 24 or 28 i think it's 24 millimeter that one is a 1.4 and so it gives you that really nice bokeh is what they call it it's just like you know that blurry background this lens specifically is a 2.8 and i love this little camera because you can change out the lenses i do have like a couple of other ones i just have not really treated them you know kindly in the past so they're not in the best condition but i love sony's i was actually even looking into like getting a sony zv1 or sony z something for like a new vlogging camera just like a smaller one because i'm just kind of over carrying this big one but i know the quality is just so good that it's Totally worth it. I just took off that one little press on that was coming off 
and I'm just gonna glue it back on. And hopefully it doesn't look horrible. <laughs> the way you make it stay on even longer is to put glue on your nail and the press-on nail. Okay, hopefully this doesn't look like shit. Good as new. My friend Mackenzie is driving us all and my friend Brenna is gonna scoop me pretty soon. I think she gets off her call at 12.30. I wanna say Dallas is about a three hour drive and we might stop somewhere to get like a snack or something like that. This looks amazing. I'm in my Dyson era. Like I'm still doing the heatless curls, but on wash days, I want to do this more because what the frick, it looks so good. We are ready for Dallas. Perfect. This is good. Yay. Wow, this is my turn. It's Maddie's birthday weekend. We're stopping to get some liquor. Yay. What's the red one? Oh, Paloma. Ooh, should we try those? Yeah, do you wanna get Fun. one of each? Yeah. There's four in each, right? One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And one, what's you want spicy? this one? Oh, kind of. Wait, <laughs> is this a mix pack? Oh. This is spicy mark. Wait, oh, okay, should we just get all four? Yeah. I mean, all three. Sure. They're all vodka girlies, and we're tequila girlies. <laughs> okay, which tequila <laughs> did we get? I because you held it up and I thought you were taking a picture and I went, oh, <laughs> 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 What's Termana? Termana. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm not like loyal to one brand. I'm just like, we will just get whatever's <laughs> good today, you know? You guys right. a little Sonder room tour. We got a king bed. Look how freaking big this closet is. Wow. And then the bathrooms are very nice. Super nice. And the showers have like their own shampoo and conditioner. And this is the living room. And then we have like a little kitchenette. Mackenzie stocked the fridge. Look how good this looks. We have our vodka drinkers, our tequila drinkers, and then our chasers. And then, oh, this is the other room. And there's also a pull-out couch in the living room. This is the longest chair I know. I've ever seen. So odd. Oh, you good lighting. Oh, actually, though. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I was about to pick a zip. <laughs> Make a cocktail. Um, I was gonna make a cocktail, but yeah, I guess we since we have time, we should do you probably. Ice? Is it just oh. down here? Uh, let's see. Oh, oh. uh oh. <laughs> no. Now you have to make it. Damn. You gotta make it yourself. We should have got a bag. Yeah. Cocktail time. Guys, this light is amazing. Good thing, Brenna. It's so good. My pictures are turning out so good. Things quickly took a turn because Maddie scratched her eye earlier that morning. It was really starting to hurt her. And then I was starting to get pretty bad migraine and it really started hurting when we were at Carbone. Of course, I've been looking forward to this reservation for so long. I think I took like three bites. I was just getting a little bit nauseous too. And so we ended the night a little bit early this night. The next morning we went to Paradiso for a late brunch. I actually came here with Ryan the last time I was in Dallas for dinner and it was so good. This restaurant is super aesthetic and has really great food. This morning Maddie went to urgent care and found out that the scratch was even worse than we thought it was. So we kind of just canceled all of our going out plans. We got some mimosas at brunch. We walked around the Bishop Arts area. We went back to our Sonder where we were staying at and then had a little makeup party Kiana was doing Doing like everyone's eye makeup and just got ready for walking around deep ella mackenzie actually used to live in dallas and she showed us this really cool rooftop view we got some cocktails before dinner and obviously we had to get some sushi this was the first time i was eating it all year which was kind of shocking then we had a girls night in and then the next morning we headed back to austin